Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. What you're looking at is an engine mount for an E90. It's an aftermarket engine mount that I bought for 20 something dollars. It's the driver's side mount that also fits on the passenger side and I've already installed a set of these on my car. Same one for driver's side and passenger side just to see how it would work out. I have an N54 E90 with a set of downpipes and that will be relevant in a minute here. But let me show you what the issue is with this mount and why I need to modify it. Here's my original driver's side mount. As you can see, it's identical. There's no difference. Here's my original passenger side mount. There is a difference here. If you notice the gap between here and this back wall of the mount is a lot smaller. It's already shot. This is a passenger side mount that tends to go bad first. But if you notice, there isn't much give in this direction. Even though this mount is shot, it has a lot of give this way, but it doesn't really get torqued on that way. It gets torqued on this way and it braces up against this wall here. My aftermarket engine mount is stiff, but in terms of this angle, it has a lot of give. So what's happening is when I'm cornering, my downpipes are touching my frame because there's already very limited clearance from the factory. So you would, you would wonder, why didn't I just buy this aftermarket? That from what I've been finding online, the aftermarket mounts that are identical to this, first of all, they're hard to come by, but they're also a lot more expensive. The original mount for the passenger side is going for like a hundred and something dollars, okay? And what a lot of people are doing is buying the 335 IS mount. Um, that's a little bit stiffer and it has even better, better support at, in this axis, but they're going for 600 and something dollars now, which is outrageous. So I opted to put these in just to try it out. And from my findings, I need to stiffen it up. So what I'm going to do is modify one of these aftermarket mounts so that it'll be a little stiffer. And, and then I'll let you know if it worked out for me. The goal is to, to basically fill in this whole area here so that it doesn't have a lot of give in this direction. At the same time, in terms of vibration and noise, I'm not expecting much of a difference because ultimately it's only gonna play a factor when you're cornering, hopefully anyway. I'm gonna insert a picture of the 335 IS mount to give you an idea. It's similar to this, but a little bit stiffer. Let's modify this one and I'll show you what I'm gonna use. I picked up 3M window weld. You can buy this at your local auto parts store. It's a little expensive on the shelf there. You can buy it for about uh, 20 something dollars. If you look online, you can get it for under $20. But a lot of people used to do this back in the day to stiffen up their motor mounts. So we're gonna pop this off first of all. There's an air gap here that I'd like to fill. Now, if you look in the corners there, there's a gap. I'm gonna go after those first. And there we have it, simple little modification. Didn't drastically alter the mount. Tried to do a half decent job on it, keeping it clean. It's a 20 something dollar mount. I don't really care about the mount itself. It's worth an experiment, I would say. So we're gonna let this dry for at least 12 hours and I'll come back and report back as to how it feels, how much flex we have here in this direction. And if it looks good, we'll put it in the car and I'll report back to let you know if there's any problems. Just to give you an idea on my car now, when I'm cornering or you know under the right circumstances, partial throttling, kind of changing lanes, I can hear the downpipes hit the frame or especially turning left. And it didn't take much reinforcement stock to avoid that. So I'm thinking that just slight layer of maybe a centimeter deep urethane is gonna help dampen that and also filling in this void here. Just in this direction here, it should help assist. So that's that, let's let this dry up and I'll come back uh, 
in about 12 hours and let you know how it looks. Okay, so here's the mount. I let it dry for a couple days. See if I can show you how much deflection there is. Here's the mount I just took off the car. I have an extra brand new mount here, driver's side mount. So let's try to show it this way. Same amount of force. Doesn't really move at all. It's hardened up now. So I'd say that's a success considering this is only worth 20 something dollars and it's pretty rigid. So now I took this off the other mount. I'm gonna glue this on and we'll reinstall it and I'll let you know how it feels while driving. All right, just got back from a test drive. Everything feels nice and smooth. There's no extra noise or vibration in the cabin. Uh, all we're really doing is laterally supporting the mount and not really changing the stiffness of it overall so we shouldn't expect much of a difference but I've cornered hard left and my downpipes are no longer making contact with the subframe so for what it's worth it did fix the issue so let's call this the poor man's 335 IS mount given that original mounts are over a hundred dollars and even aftermarket passenger side mounts are quite costly and the 335 IS mount is over $600. This is a, a somewhat decent solution for people looking to stiffen up their passenger side mount on a budget. The total cost would be about 30 something dollars with the engine mount and the 3M window weld. You know, I'm sure a lot of people would frown at this and think it's quite ghetto and, and whatnot, but hey, look, I'm experimenting here. I'm showing you guys different ways to go about keeping these cars on the road for cheap, accomplishing different goals. We're talking about a five or six thousand dollar car. Is it that outrageous to say you're, you're trying to be a little price conscious on some of these mods? Anyway, hopefully you guys found this video informative, entertaining, or useful. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I upload regularly. Thanks for watching. Let's <laughs> go.